Welcome to the helicopter simulator video series, how helicopters work. So the last time we've talked about gyroscopic precession and we've learned how and where to increase and decrease the lift to tilt the rotor the way we want it. I've also mentioned that these forces create a flapping motion. I didn't explain how blade flapping is working and how helicopter simulator is creating this behavior. So let's start the new topic, blade flapping. We will design as blade flapping all this kind of motion. Blade flapping, blade tittering and blade bending. All this will refer as blade flapping. Flapping occurs when the blade goes above or below the plane of rotation of the rotor disc. It allows to change directions of forces created through the blade. This means that the direction of the sum of forces will no longer stay along the axis of rotation. Without blade flapping, helicopter will be really hard or impossible to control. So every helicopter has blade flapping, even those with rigid rotor system as the BK-117. In helicopter simulator, you can see the plane of rotation represented as the gray axis. Let's see how it works in helicopter simulator. We've already seen the rotor disc tilt in the previous video. Now let's see another behavior known as cone. A coned rotor system will produce less lift because a lot of the produced lift is lost. As you can see, helicopter simulator isn't bending the blade to save some calculation time. It's only rotating the blade along an imaginary flapping hinge on the center of the rotor disc. Forces involved are centrifugal force, weight of the blade, lift produced by the blade, hinge spring, and finally hinge damping. Hinge forces can also refer as the elasticity of the blade. This simple physics allow interesting behaviors. Centrifugal force will tend to align blades on the rotation plane. The more the blade is flapping, the more the centrifugal force is. That's one of the reasons why keeping high rotor RPM is so important. Low RPM means low centrifugal force, meaning higher risk of tail boom. If the blade is flapping up here and is flapping down 180 degrees later, we've got some interesting behavior in between. Here, the blade goes down with a certain velocity. This up-down velocity refers as a local induced flow in this portion of the rotor disc. This induced flow will cause the angle of attack to increase, because the rotor disc is counterclockwise, and the portion will create more lift. The same is happening on the other side, but this time with the opposite induced flow, causing a decrease of angle of attack. If you remember the last video on gyroscopic precession, with a 90 degrees offset, the blade will tend to be flapping this way, thus cancelling the previous flapping. Flapping allows another great feature, which is conservation of angular momentum, but we'll talk about it in a later video. That's conclude the flapping topic. Stay tuned for the next episode and thanks for watching.